A promising symphony director is perplexed by his girlfriend's unexplained and seemingly unexplainable absence after the unexpected news of their irreparable breakup. Can he, however, see beyond the facts? Welcome to Movie Recall. In today's video, we'll be going through the 2011 thriller film The Hidden Face. It's time to recall, let's get started, turn on subtitles and spoilers ahead. Adrian, a young orchestra conductor, watches a video of Belen, his girlfriend, telling him she is leaving him. In the video message, she tells him that this was the best way as she is not strong enough to say this in person. She also tells him that she loves him but she simply cannot live with him anymore and is going to leave. Adrian feels agitated. He goes to his washroom, throws some water on his face, takes a sip from his drink and then goes for a drive in the rain. He stops at a bar and a waitress comes to him and asks him what he wants to drink. He replies that he will take the whiskey. The waitress comments to her friend that she does not like to see grown men cry. Her friend responds that a man only cries when he is guilty, but the other waitress, Fabiana, says that this isn't always true. Later she comes over to Adrian's table and tells him that they are closing up. As Adrian heads out, he is really drunk and manages to run into another guy. The two start brawling with each other as a woman pulls the other man off of Adrian and tells him to leave, seeing that Adrian is drunk. Fabiana comes out of the bar and asks Adrian if he can go home. Adrian takes out his car keys and hands them to Fabiana so she starts to drive him home. During their trip back, Adrian is drunk and he starts to practice conducting the orchestra, which makes Fabiana laugh. She takes him to her home and lets him sleep off his hangover on her couch. The following day as he wakes up, she tells him her name, but Adrian is a bit awkward about the situation and promptly leaves. Fabiana continues to watch him from her window as he gets into his car and leaves. The next night, Adrian goes back to the bar and tells Fabiana that he just wants to apologize for his behavior in the morning and asks her if she can sit with him. She says that she has to work, so Adrian makes her another offer. The two are then shown in an orchestra as Adrian tells her all about the different instruments. The two are about to kiss when Fabiana stops him and asks him whether he is married or has a girlfriend. Adrian says that he has neither and then the two go over to his house and have sex. The next morning, Fabiana wakes up early and goes to the bathroom and sees that Adrian has two brushes. She then brushes her teeth and goes looking around his house. She even gets to meet his pet German Shepherd and then goes downstairs only to find drawings. She picks one up, but just as she is about to observe it closely, Adrian comes in and tells her that they should have breakfast. While the two have breakfast, Fabiana tells him that his house is huge and why doesn't he live in the city? He says that he enjoys the quiet. Fabiana asks him if he has to work today and he replies that he doesn't and that she should stay the night. Fabiana agrees to the proposal. A little while later, two detectives show up at the house and start asking questions about Belen's disappearance. It seems that Adrian is named as a suspect in Belen's disappearance. This worries Fabiana, but Adrian assures her that nothing is wrong and that the detectives are just doing their job. The detectives are unable to locate any evidence of Adrian's participation. Later that night, Fabiana looks on as Adrian plays the piano. She asks him to come up as it is late. Fabiana goes to take a bath and while she lies relaxing in it, she notices that something is wrong and she suddenly gets out of the tub. She gets out of the bathroom but lightning flashes outside and the light goes off which makes Fabiana scream. She rushes outside only to run into Adrian who calms her down and the two start to make out. But Fabiana sees that the dog is in the room and is looking at the glass of the cupboard. She isn't comfortable and asks Adrian to take the dog out. So Adrian gets up and makes his dog, Hans, go outside. The next night, Fabiana's friend asks her whether it was a good idea to date someone who is a suspect in his girlfriend's disappearance. The guy is a cop and seems to have a past with Fabiana and he bitterly says that it looks like Fabiana got what she wanted, a guy with money and not a cop with a bad salary. Later, Adrian and Fabiana go to an orchestra conducted by Adrian. After the performance, Adrian introduces her to his manager and he tells her that he is lucky to have her with them. Fabiana seems to have moved in with Adrian and she is taking a shower when suddenly the water gets hot. She turns back the dial but it becomes hot again. This burns her shoulder and she gets out screaming. She starts to tiptoe out of the bathroom but the door behind her opens. She is spooked and it turns out it was only Hans. After the bath, she goes out to sit and sees that a storm is approaching. Later that night, she's jumping on the bed enjoying herself when she spots a key-shaped necklace lying under a grate on the floor. She gets down to pick it up and wears it. Suddenly, the light goes off and she thinks that she's heard someone and continues to call out to whoever it is. She picks up a fire poker and screams out once again, but she slips and hits her head on the piano. Adrian returns and takes care of her. She tells him that she doesn't want to live alone in this house and that there is a ghost in the house. 
Adrian first laughs at her, but she is adamant and takes him to the toilet and asks him to press his ear next to the sink. A place from where she thinks she heard voices, but Adrian says it could just be wind in the piping. He then jokingly warns the ghost that if it messes with Fabiana, it would have to deal with him. The next morning, he receives a call from the DA's office. They tell him that they might have found the body of a woman and he is to come in and identify if it's Bellin or not. Adrian goes to the morgue and says that the body is not Bellin's. He later returns home and hugs Fabiana and tells her Bellin is no longer in his life and she doesn't need to worry. As they hug, Fabiana looks in the mirror and it is revealed that someone is actually behind it, that someone is Bellin. A flashback then begins as Adrian and Bellin ride bicycles through some streets. Adrian is cooking food and Bellin asks what the occasion is. Adrian tells her that he has got some news and that he had gotten a call to conduct an orchestra. The couple then hugs, but Adrian tells her that he is leaving in 15 days for a year. This makes Bellin upset, but Adrian tells her that she should come up. This is something that Bellin can't accept as it would mean leaving her life behind. But her love for Adrian wins over and she agrees to go, provided that he loves her and doesn't leave her. Adrian is then shown conducting the orchestra as Bellin watches on. After the show, she notices Adrian talking to one of his violinists, Veronica. Bellin introduces herself and the two get out of the building. She mentions that Adrian might like Veronica, but when Adrian gives her a confused expression, she tells him that she was joking and she knows he's only got eyes for her. The two are now looking for a home in this new city and they take a drive to a mansion a little outside the city. The home is owned by a German woman. She shows Bellin all around the house and tells her that the only condition for staying in the house is they take care of the dog. Bellin and Adrian soon move in and start to unpack their things. The two are a perfect picture of a couple deeply in love with each other. Bellin is later shown at a leather factory looking for some special kind of leather for a shoe she has designed. Bellin receives a call from the German woman who seems to want to visit, so Bellin decides to visit Adrian first. When she comes into his office, she notices him sitting with Veronica, about to open a drink. This makes her angry and she leaves the office. During her trip back, she asks Adrian if something is going on and whether he flirts with all the musicians. Adrian assures her that nothing is wrong and the two make up during the night. The next morning, Bellin checks Adrian's phone and gets upset once more. As Adrian is about to leave, she asks him again why he and Veronica have been calling and texting each other. The two get into a fight with Adrian accepting that he flirted a little. On the same day, the German woman comes to their house and Bellin tells her all about her problems and the German lady says that her husband was also involved in work. She then asks Bellin whether she can keep a secret or not. Bellin says she can and she shows Bellin a secret chamber she created to conceal her husband in case someone came looking for him because he was a former Nazi SS commander. The space is soundproofed and self-contained. The German lady says that it has been a while since she's been in the room and Bellin thanks her for sharing her secret with her. Bellin hatches a plan to get back at Adrian for his actions with Veronica. She packs her bags and puts them in the secret room that the German lady had shown her. She then makes a video talking about her intentions to leave Adrian due to his flings. Just as she has finalized everything, she sees that Adrian has come into the house. She quickly takes the key and rushes into the room, closing it behind her. She then waits and watches Adrian as he takes a look at the tape and then calls her. He tells Bellin he has taken a look at the tapes and he doesn't understand. Adrian seems distraught and he throws the bouquet he had bought for Bellin toward the mirror. When she believes he's had enough, she searches for the key, only to discover she's misplaced it and is now imprisoned in the room with no way of contacting Adrian. She tries to get his attention by banging on the glass, then she decides to call him, and she even tries using the furniture in the room to break the glass, but nothing works, and Bellin realizes that she is now trapped in the room. She continues to watch Adrian and calls out for help, but Adrian cannot see her, and she sees the level of hurt she has caused him. Adrian takes the tape to the police and they ask him if he has suspected someone, but Adrian says that he doesn't know anyone. He also tells them that the night before they had a couple spat. The police told him that there were no traces of murder or kidnapping and that they would contact the immigration office to see if Bellin had left the country or not. Meanwhile, Bellin looks through things in the secret room and manages to find a diary of the German man and she also manages to find some food. She tries to eat the food but it is revolting so she spits it out. When she goes towards the sink, she opens the tap and sees that the water is dirty, but she still uses it to clean her mouth. Later, Bellin discovers that she can use the pipes to communicate with Adrian. She has to hit them hard to cause ripples, which Adrian fails to notice. The light in the room also goes out and Bellin now starts to feel cold. Bellin sees Fabiana and Adrian having sex while she continues to mutter, Adrian, please don't do this. Bellin is absolutely distraught after seeing this and she starts crying as the speakers continue to relay their moans to her. 
Velen is at first annoyed to see Fabiana in her house, but she realizes that Fabiana might be her only way out, so she tries to communicate with her on multiple occasions. Finally, they manage to talk when Fabiana starts to notice the ripples that Velen is causing. The two manage to communicate, and Fabiana eventually manages to find the keyhole that locked the secret room. She is about to open the room, then she suddenly stops. She says I'm sorry, and doesn't open the room as she fears she might lose Adrian. Velen is hurt by this, and she continues to shout for help, but no one is able to hear her. Later, Fabiana finds Adrian sitting in the living room with Hans. She asks if he's okay, and he says he is, and he tells her to go back to bed. The next day, an officer comes to Adrian and tells him that the missing person case involving Bellin is now his responsibility. He then goes to Adrian's car and says that Adrian should be very careful with whatever he does. Adrian is taken aback by this. Then the officer says that if he hurt Fabiana, he would kill him. Fabiana is undecided about her decision, but she chooses to open the door and check on Bellin because she hasn't heard from her. Fabiana was also shown photographs of Adrian with the violinist by one of the investigators, and she is envious. Fabiana is checking on Bellin, who is resting in a bed in the secret chamber. Then Bellin unexpectedly knocks her out and locks her in the room. Bellin makes the decision to leave the house. She hides the key to the hidden room under a bed for Adrian to uncover, as well as a photo of the two of them attached to the secret room's door mirror. Bellin sits alone on the beach in the last scene. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new movie recaps.